Hey everybody, welcome to the POS Podcast. It's just uh, us three tonight. Uh, me, Paleo, Steno, uh, Hirasashi, and Sabersspark. So yep. We're, we're going to talk about some stuff, which we actually have a lot to talk about, because um, uh, a lot has happened in the last two weeks, um, which it, for the past few podcasts, we haven't really had much to talk about, but um, uh, this one, there's there's a lot of stuff. So, uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and get into it. Um, uh, before we do, like, uh, if you want to ask, uh, ask questions, you can ask us on Twitter. Our Twitter, Twitter handles are right there, there, and you should, you should definitely follow us on Twitter. And, um, or you can use a super chat, which I saw there's already one, which it does relate to something I'm going to talk about, like, uh, as we get into stuff. So, let's, uh, go ahead and get into stuff with the first, a short thing with a movie that I saw. Um... Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, and the image is not showing up. <laughs> where, where, where is, where is that image? Where, where's the image? Perfect podcast. <laughs> I love it. So much to talk about in the podcast crashes. Yeah, what the hell? Like, it's showing... <laughs> Why is so... Why is the image not showing up? Oh my god. Seriously, it's, it's it's oh wait, oh no, you know what? It's because like the that black it, oh, I forgot. I forgot to put the color on <laughs> there because black. of the webcams. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of this blank black uh solid color saying? that I put on here. Okay. Oh, now now it's going to be ruined with that stuff though. What how? If this is today's podcast, it's gonna take like five hours. Oh my god! So how am I gonna get rid of that and then also show the images? Ah, uh, this is why I hate the freaking crop tool on this stupid app. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> you're gonna grow up to be Bob. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> so where where do I put the? I, guys oh, wait a minute. I think I have to put the topics above the webcam. Yeah, the topics above the webcams. Okay, I, I, I see what I gotta do now. Okay. There we go. Okay. That that works. Okay. For those of you who don't see, like, what I'm doing here, you're probably confused, but... Yeah, oh, I'm it's, confused. Yeah. yeah. And those of you just listening, you don't need to worry about it. But anyway, yeah. It's, uh... It's complicated to explain... So anyway. this uh, Bohemian Rhapsody yeah, movie, yeah. is it kind of is it kind of like a one of those you know the the Kurt Cobain animated movie or like the the Yellow Submarine or is it is uh, it just like one of those kind of movies? No, I, no? I haven't seen the Kurt Cobain animated movie. Um, oh, okay, uh, but it it's a biopic, so mm -hmm. it, it's basically about the 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 life of Freddie Mercury. Um, oh, okay. Well, while he was in Queen, basically. So it's not, so it's not all of Queen. It's just it's, it, it is a lot of Queen. Like uh, mm. they they do um uh it's but it's focused mainly on Freddie Mer Mercury. Okay. So, yeah, it goes from like when Freddie joined the band to the Live Aid concert, and that's uh like in like the mid eighties. Mm. So. Yeah, that that's when he like find out found out that he had AIDS, so. Oh, jeez. Did they yeah. include that part in the movie? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I guess they did. That's yeah, like, right. Yeah. Well, there was talk about how they weren't going to include that. And it's like, how can you not talk about Freddie being gay, him getting AIDS? Because, like, he's, like, the burning star of the entire, like, group. Like, he, right. he is everything. It's kind of like there are certain band members of, of bands where it's like, I don't fucking know who you are. Like, mm -hmm. of course, I know who John Lennon and, and Paul McCartney are. And, and Ringo, because his name's so weird, but the, the other guy, I don't know, George Carlos, whatever his name is, I don't know. George Harrison? <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, like... You mean the, the I, guy that got shot because a fan, like, broke into his house? This is why you don't become famous, folks. <laughs> um, but seriously, like, I, I, Freddie... You mean Mal subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Mal, have a Patreon, and then my top two reward of you hanging out with me, but not too close. Um, <laughs> but, legit, though, like... I think Freddie Mercury is a fantastic person. I, 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 I going into this, I'm, I'm throwing it out there. I don't know much about him besides him being a fantastic singer, him being like really good at like uh, 
doing unique shit. So uh, with, with, with their music, them get being gay and him having AIDS and then dying like pretty yeah. young. Like that's those are the main things about Freddy that I know. Um, outside of that, I don't know much. Oh, yeah. he loves cats. Yeah, yeah, he does. He he does love cats. Um, yeah, one of the interesting parts about the movie is when um uh when they made Bohemian Rhapsody the the song, um, and they pitched it as like, oh, we want this to be our single, and the uh the producer or whatever the 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 guy that the head of the record record deal or whatever said like, no, this this isn't gonna work. You you can't like put a six to seven minute song on the radio. Um, mm-hmm. and they, they left and, like, decided, like, oh, we're gonna go with somebody else then. And, <laughs> like, <laughs> one, uh, one quote is, like, you'll be f- forever known as the man who lost Queen. And it's, like, some, uh, mm-hmm. it's, uh, I forgot the name of the guy, I think it's Ray Foster? He, like, worked with Jimi Hendrix and a bunch of other famous, uh, musicians. Mm-hmm. Um, and, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny, because, like, when Be- Bohemian Rhapsody first came out, Critics hated it. Uh, they hated the song. Um, really? But, but yeah, but then when it, it was re-released in, like, the early 90s, um, and then it was all over the radio. Uh, okay, and that, yeah. Mm-hmm. So and that's day. when people got sick of it. <laughs> I cannot listen to that song anymore. I am so done. <laughs> so yeah. done. It's a great song, but... Uh, yeah, oh, it, it's it's sort of, it's sort of their kind of redemption of like, well, they didn't want to play it before, but they're gonna play it now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So yeah, it was it was an interesting movie though. Uh, I was I like it good. Know, or just interesting. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I do like uh, musician biopics. They're uh, they're pretty cool. Was it good? Or yeah. Just interesting. Okay. Yeah, it was good. Mm-hmm. All right. Next thing. Uh, let's talk about Castlevania Season 2. That's a y'all too. Oh, Favorite. man. You watched it, right? I yeah. Loved it. You know, this has been a good Halloween for me as far as getting, like, back into, I guess, appreciating horror fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> because, like, because I, um, I, I, I've never been really too crazy about, like, uh, the occult and, and things like vampires and zombies and werewolves. It, it's like a, 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 a section of fantasy that I'm like, oh, that's a thing. Uh, versus things like goblins and orcs and trolls and and like dragons and stuff and elves, like that, that's like another sect of fantasy, more the main sect. Uh, that being said, um, Castlevania was so refreshing because like you get this very deep lore that already exists from the games, um, and, and about this you know cool world of like okay, it's like a it's like a medieval world, kind of got a influence of like the Catholic Church, a lot of in like historical themes to it. Uh, except this time, it was actual vampires. Um, and, and season two, following Dracula and him trying to, I guess, exact revenge on the human world. And that's all I want to say for spoiler-wise. I, I don't, unless there's a spoiler tag. Yeah. Um, Hero went to go get some uh, uh, something to drink. But um, I would say with Castlevania season two, um, it's, yeah, it's interesting, like, where they went with the show. Because with the, with the first season, it, it felt more like a setup for the first season. Um, with the second season, it's like, okay, so these vampires are, like, mad at the, well, specifically Dracula's mad at the world, uh, humanity, yeah. that is, um, and they want to go with a war with humanity, and there's, like, some other things that go on within, uh, Dracula's castle, where it's like, oh, this is not going the way I thought it was going to go. Well, um, it's like Game of Thrones. Uh, there's like a war council and different yeah. faction leaders, and and you say it's a war in humanity, which is funny because even in the season they're like they're like this isn't a war, it's a genocide. Like it's right. not even going to be a fight. And um, and, and you follow uh, you know, Trevor Belmont and and the other folks who are part Cypher of the game. And Al- Alucard. Yeah, and and, and how they mm-hmm. have to work together. I have to say their story was slow in the first few a few episodes. Because they're just kind of sitting around doing nothing, but yeah. Then they finally in, in the first something. couple of, first couple of episodes, it's more about Dracula's story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which it, it's fine, and you see Dracula as a Dracula as a is a villain you have pity for. Um, right. Wouldn't even call him a villain; he's an antagonist. And it's like you know, he's he's you feel for him because like he lost his wife, and he's he's more lashing out out of pain 
instead of like, no, I I I want to kill all humans. I want to see them suffer. I just hate them because I I just want to see them alive, bleed and die. Ha <laughs> ha. Versus him being like, no, they took no, everything. They, they all me. have to die. They have to die because yeah. it took what was the most precious to me, and this is just my way of coping with it. And to which his son is like, no, dad, you fucking idiot. Actually, the I want to spoil it. The scene in uh, in the finale, or like episode nine, or whatever, or episode whatever, seven, seven, yeah. where uh, it actually got a little emotional, and it wasn't even like it, it, it was like a dialogue between Alucard and Dracula about their family, and I was like, holy shit, this is like really sad. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes you feel for Dracula. He's not he's not like Darth. Well. Darth Vader is also a sympathetic villain, I suppose. <laughs> He's not like the Emperor or fucking Hitler or something, where it's like, no, you're just straight up evil, die. Versus someone where you're like, no, I, I, I kind of feel bad for you. Like Thanos gets close to that, but then you're like, not enough. Um, <laughs> Dracula is a villain where it's like, no, I can, from your point of view, I can see why you're doing this. I don't agree with it, but you're not without your reasons. It's not like you're just straight up chaotic evil or whatever, or lawful evil. You're, you're. You're a guy who's who's drifted over to evil temporarily. Yeah. Also, the Morning Star is one of the coolest fucking weapons ever made. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> cool. It, the, wait, what, kind, what kind of what kind of Morning Star is it? Is it just a mace or is it a flail? Because I've seen yeah, it's both. a whip. It's a it's, whip. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's Man, a whip. Man, Morning Stars can just be whatever they want. I, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> cool I've seen it be... name. Cool weapon. Cool in execution. And whenever I walk Lammy and get his leash ready, I feel like I'm holding the Morning Star. <laughs> don't don't use it on Lammy. Don't do that. I as if I would ever use it on my precious. <laughs> I love this boy more than I love myself. <laughs> right, Lammy. <laughs> He's getting close to me. Yeah, right? Castlevania season two. It's uh, it's really good. Uh, it's it's um, it's one of the best Netflix series uh, out right now. Great improvement to season one. Season yeah. one was good. But they they delivered on season two because when season one ended, I was like, oh, it, it felt like it was just about to get good. They yeah. Followed up on it, and then I and they announced season three, so we're good. We're gonna see more. Yeah. A All video right. game thing that's good. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> the first time ever in history. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta wait for that Illumination Mario movie. <laughs> uh, the first time ever in history. <laughs> and o- the first and only time and in history. Only, right. Um, okay. Uh, next thing related to Castlevania. Apparently the, the producer of the Castlevania series said that they have interest in making a Zelda series. Right. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. 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 Well, Allegedly right. we, we don't know. They, they hinted at a, at a possible Nintendo property. Um, we don't know. Because this is, uh, mm-hmm. cause allegedly, this is also coming from the guy who said that the Simpsons got rid of a poo, to which some other person that Simpson said, you don't speak for us, you know, uh, yeah. who's not gone. Mm-hmm. So we don't know 100%. But hey, I would love to see a Zelda or Metroid series. Yeah. See, like, initially, my, my reaction was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. But, like, I guess I just. When I go to Zelda, it's, it's not for the story. I'm like, okay, so what's the yeah. story of Zelda? If it's, I mean, I, I don't really the, go to Castlevania for that either. Right. And Zelda, it's like, there's a guy. He's a he's a he's a mean guy. His yeah. name's Ganon, and sometimes no, I mean, Ganon. Like, remember, like Castlevania, the Netflix series is based on Castlevania Three, which is on right, NES which game. No one plays. <laughs> no, I realized something. By the way, um, we're talking about the challenge of having a thing like Zelda. Where uh, you have a character who doesn't talk ever really, um, right? But every other character did, does. And when he talks, it's sinful. So yeah, yes, it, it's for, forbidden. It's forbidden. <laughs> but uh, but I was thinking this um, about this today. Uh, Samurai Jack, in a lot of ways, is close to Link, where he doesn't Jack talks, uh, yeah. but not very much. So it's not impossible to do a show where a character doesn't talk at all. Like, yeah, and, you know, and like like you, we said with the uh, the Castlevania series, it, it it sort of feels like that kind of Game of Thrones type thing with the uh, the the people talking to each other. We could have like uh, Impa talking to Zelda in Hyrule Castle and like talking to her father, um, and like uh, Ganon, Ganondorf. If was if it's going to be based on something like Ocarina of Time, we'd ha- have to see how Ganondorf is like. Okay, here's how I'm, how I'm going to plan plan to get the trust of the King of Hyrule and then take over. Mm-hmm. 
Like that, I think yeah. that'd be interesting. Mm-hmm. I, I'm sure they could do it. It's just I'm not, I'm not seeing how off the bat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, I couldn't, I, I couldn't see, see for like Castlevania three at all. I mean, right. that, that's an NES game. So See, the thing is, I will, I will totally use this excuse. As a consumer, I don't know what I want. All I know is that I want it to be good. So it's your job to come up with yeah, how yeah. to make it good. <laughs> <laughs> the people, like, whenever you're like, I don't like that, people are like, well, what would you have them do? And I was like, I don't know, man. I'm just a guy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but when you do it right, I'll like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, and, like having like Zelda like uh, be chic and like helping Link along the way. That that'd be cool. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. You just have different factions, and and you would need a villain who's like in the coup where he takes some more of the talking role. Yeah. Um, that it, it can be work. Dorf, so. Yeah, I, I think it's an absolutely work, and also like the 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 world that is Zelda is is very very rich in in history and lore and and mm. development. You have to pick one, stick with it, do it right. That's yeah. the most important thing. You need people who can put this from game to show or movie or series, more like more preferred. Yeah. I think it's the best. And, way and to since do this. the people that did the Castlevania series, like I could definitely see them doing a Zelda series. It seems like they know. They what they're care. Doing. They seem yeah. that they know. They did their homework. You know, they 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 care. Same thing with the folks who did Ducktales, Duck where it's Tales, like yeah. you guys did your homework. Like this isn't that hard. It requires a, a, a producers and writers who sit down and say, have you seen the fucking original? Do you know what made it good? Okay, copy it and add something new. Done. That's it. I can, put me in Hollywood. I'll do this for you. <laughs> it's not hard. And and I, like do it with Metroid. That'd be fucking cool. Do it with, uh, you Ooh. know, with Ooh, Zelda. Hello Man, Hello Man says like uh, Twilight Princess's story would make a fantastic series. That'd be interesting. Would... Have have Minda with it, with it too. That, yeah, because like mm-hmm. Link is like a wolf a lot of the time. <laughs> There's so many things I could say. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why don't we just get an Animal Crossing series while we're at it? We already had one. We had an anime a... movie. And, and yeah, and an anime. I don't know. Apparently, it's not that great actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I saw it like a long time ago, so I can't really recall the quality mm-hmm. of it. See, what I'm interested in about this uh, Zelda show is what's the art style? Zelda has been all over the place in terms of art style. I would yeah. prefer a more serious one, as much as Wind Waker is charming. Yeah. Some, something like a Twilight yeah. Princess or Ocarina, maybe. Twilight Princess is still my favorite aesthetic that Zelda's ever done. I, yeah. I just I feel like Zelda is a And I can definitely thing. see um, the Castlevania people do, doing that style well, too. Mm-hmm, right. All right. Um, next thing, moving on, because we've got a lot to talk about. Uh, there was a trailer for Blue Skies next movie called Spies in Disguise. Spies in Disguise. Yeah. How do y'all feel about the, that? Star, starring the, Will Smith. The facial proportions are just not <laughs> for my. It's not for me. It the, not. the the character designs remind me a lot of Sony animation, rather mm. than Blue Sky. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sony made Ice Age. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, because no, that's no, what no, I so, Sony didn't no, make Ice Age. Blue Sky no, did. Blue Sky made Ice Age. That's a lot of... Huh. I'm sorry, go No, that's what I immediately get reminded of when I look at this man's face. It's just Ice Age for some reason. I don't know <laughs> what the connection is, but I also don't like the aesthetic of Ice Age either. Why is this man's chin the Yeah, entire... right? He, he's hard to Will Smith. Kentucky. That's what he is. Why? <laughs> Will Smith don't have a chin... That's that big. <laughs> like, oh my god. That being said, uh, I thought the trailer was really cool. Yeah. I, I had a lot of fun watching it. Yeah, uh, a lot it, of it looked very I different for, for Blue disagree. Sky. disagree. You disagree? Uh huh. As soon as I saw the pitch, I'm like, oh, this is boring. Oh, Look, I, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm so tired of transformation stories where it's like, I get it, you've turned a fucking frog, a bird, a to crab, I don't know. What the, it's the same old shit. Like, I mean, I, it's a, it's a common, well, you know, it, it, it when done right, you know. But mm-hmm. like, I actually, at first, I'm like, okay, I can dig this. You know, a spy movie, right? Cool. Yeah. And it's like, but what if he's a pigeon? I'm like, oh. I uh, I can agree with that. I was definitely thinking. Yeah, is more that gonna be the former the whole half. movie though? 
Is that like the plot synopsis? I, I, don't, I don't know. He'll probably be a strong pigeon at the very end, transform back into a human in fucking <laughs> Emperor's New Groove style. Like, it's just, I don't know. It's just, mm -hmm. maybe it's just me. Maybe to kids who have not seen that as much, that kind of story, they'll like it. Blue Sky, uh, they they aren't a bad studio. They, they're, I don't know. It's like they it's can like, make a good thing. They can definitely make a. Oh, good Ryan thing. Walters has said it's actually based on an animated short called Pigeon Impossible. So maybe it is. Yeah, there you go. Let me tell you about the way I look at animation studios. All right, I'm like in a classroom. All right, mm. I'm in a classroom, and you got this one kid with glasses, a shiny red apple. His clothes are all nice and clean. It's Pixar. You know, <laughs> turning in homework, turning in their reports, A plus, A, okay, that one's a C minus for Cars 2. All right, but like, <laughs> actually, no, that's an F. But like, <laughs> you know, it's very disappointing you, Pixar. I expect better from you, all right? Mm -hmm. Next to Pixar is their older brother, Disney, you know? Like, really got a great report card and a permanent record's impeccable, you know? There was some weird at times during sophomore year, you know, they're kind of weird and... Mm -hmm. And then during their fucking, you know, junior year, it got really weird. But you know, right now, they're, they're, they're great in their senior year, you know, turning out some really great final projects. I'm really proud of them. They're grad and graduate. They honest. were really incredibly racist when they were in fifth grade. I don't know what's going on there. But... Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, and especially there's a bunch of racist kids in the fifth grade. Fleischer, you know, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had, to, we had to expel them. Disney was an exception. We thought we could change them. Um they, but also, like, that Disney student found those permanent records and burned them, so we don't even know. <laughs> he looked at me in the eye and said, zippity doo dah and burned the records. Uh, <laughs> well, next to Disney, you got DreamWorks. All right, this little kid, you know, little punk, you know, he's like, he'll do the occasional spit wob ball, hit me in the back <laughs> of the head. I'm like, what the hell? You know, but then I'll get a report turned in. I'm like, wow, this is really heartfelt. You actually have something going on in your head. You, you got some heart. And then next week they turn in some complete shit. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> can't figure they figure you out. All right. Mm -hmm. And then you got Illumination, who I'm pretty sure just copies their homework off the internet. Every <laughs> <single time. laughs> that is perfect. You know, just like, dude, I know that you're copying. It's the same. It's this is your homework from last week. Just, you know, <laughs> All right. And then you got Blue Sky, who I'm pretty sure like threw their head into a wall and have a concussion. And it's like, I don't know from blind <laughs> luck. You're, you're passing this class or not? Because it's all like, over you the did place. that one thing, Peanuts. I mean, yeah, Peanuts, <laughs> and it's so good. It's so good. But then there's this wonderful student from who's a foreign exchange student named Studio Ghibli, and just impeccable, fantastic, incredible films. Just, but they keep coming back to school and won't quit. And I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they graduated, but they keep coming back writing reports. And then, and then you have the French exchange student that for some reason keeps kicking ass, and everyone's just like, you can't even speak English, man. Like, how are you so good at school? Yeah, and then there was that Fox Animation kid, but he, he flunked out. <laughs> <laughs> We're all Warner wow. Brothers. They're in the class. They're in the class. In the back. <laughs> That's all I got. I'm, I'm here, too. <laughs> you saw a Lego yeah. movie, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, turned in a good paper, right? Uh, okay, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't write it down. Hey, you should make a video Nonetheless, about that. some of the animation in this show, uh, I have to give it credit, was incredibly smooth. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we'll see it. <laughs> okay, moving on. I mean, I, yeah, it's an animated movie that I will see. <laughs> moving on, talking about another animated movie uh, and news for it. Uh, SpongeBob, the, the third one. Um, it's... I don't want it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a sponge something life or something, whatever. Um, yeah. Apparently, it's going to be an origin story about how all the Bikini Bottom people met, or the main characters met. What is, what is that picture you have? No, it's, it's from Spongebob. <laughs> oh, God. Is that, like, stupid walk cycle he does that, that, uh... That I Patrick remember, Pirate yeah, found, yeah, uh, yeah. Found. Yeah, yeah, but SpongeBob, it's a wonderful sponge. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, which is a play on uh, "It's a Wonderful Life." Right. Um, what does he get an origin story? What is he like, Batman? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but apparently this is gonna be all CG. And there yeah, goes. I don't want. I don't want it. <laughs> yeah, SpongeBob, that's all CG. 
So now everyone yeah. can feel the pain that I feel when Lion King 2019 comes out. I can see what's happening. Fuck! <laughs> and they don't have a clue. Fuck! <laughs> well, we make this movie, and here's the bottom line. Fuck! Okay, about that. Yeah, it's coming out 2020. Well, we'll we'll see what happens. Well, when will this I, poor I, franchise I won't see. die? Yeah, when will this know. franchise die? Yeah. When will when will this live action thing stop? I actually. Yeah. Well, this isn't live like, action. It's just CG. Yeah, CG. It's, Though it's going to have some live action like hybrid segments as well. Uh, just like the last I just, movie. I just don't like this trend, but like what whatever. I I don't like it. It doesn't mean it's gonna stop, right? Right. Whatever. Speaking of origin stories, um apparently there's going to be a courage prequel series on Boomerang. Oh, well. But what 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 like before he lived with Eustace and Muriel? Yeah. Muriel? So what was he doing? Uh, he was probably Wait, being with his dog and... parents, I guess. I, who cares? <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, who he cares? Has be, he has to be scared. Who cares? You get scared in the middle of nowhere, right? So like, yeah. I don't know. I I, I I think it's stupid. Like, mm. prove me prove me wrong. Make something amazing and prove me wrong. But at the moment, if if I was a, if I was a producer and someone threw it at my desk, I go, this is dumb. Like, mm. we don't we don't need a prequel to this. Stop. 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 Reviving series that were good and died peacefully. Yeah, like Courage was like a, a good like fifty two episodes. There, that's all you need. Was it only fifty two? Really? Yeah, only fifty two. It really feels like it was a lot more than that. Yeah, I think it might be fifty two okay. half hours. Okay. I'm not. I'm not sure. I mean, that's that's how I talk about cartoons, anyways. When I say it's like an episode, I mean the twenty two minute thing. Yeah. It's like it's weird because now like things are eleven minutes and now everything feels short and I don't know whatever. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Um, don't don't care. Yeah, that's about yeah. it. <laughs> Speaking of Cartoon Network, another segue. Um, there's gonna be a Cartoon Network hotel. In in Philadelphia. Isn't there? An, isn't there a Nickelodeon one? There was. <laughs> oh, is it gone? Yeah. For how long? <laughs> yes, Saber. When did the Nick Hotel die? Uh, early two thousands, I thought. Dang. Okay. Yeah, I, f- I forgot what was it? In, this, in this article, it says something about, like, in, like, 160-something rooms, they'll they'll immerse. That was the word they chose. <laughs> like, immerse. Yes, in, like, in, like, We Bear Bears, D- D- Adventure Time, maybe regular shows in there. I'd have to reopen the article. But, um... Yeah, it was, it was like, We Bear like... Bears, uh, Adventure Time, Powerpuff Girls, um, Ben 10. Oh, Powerpuff Girls, ugh. <laughs> Yeah, the new Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> See, it's it's. Uh, and apparently, they're gonna have like I, activities with Summer Camp I, Island. I don't want to be immersed in Cartoon Network. Am I really, like you walk into the bathroom and Grizz is like staring at you? Like that's, <laughs> that's weird. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I guess the the idea of being in a cartoon hotel would be neat. I would. I mean, if I was going, if I was going to Philadelphia, I'd be like, why not? Yeah, and it's next to a, a theme park, like this some like Dutchland theme park thing, which I had never heard of before. <laughs> Dutchland, like Deutschland? Like, yeah, like, like Germany. Mean... <laughs> you said you said Dutchland. Yeah, but no, it's <laughs> spelled like Dutch, but not Deutsch. But it's Germany. I don't know. I don't. I don't know exactly <laughs> what it is. Okay. <laughs> I, I forgot the name of the song. name of the um the the park it's near. Let's see, see a, a okay. hotel uh, amusement park. Mm. It's it's near some amusement park. I, I forgot. Let's see. Oh, see hotel. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, that's Canadian hotels. What the? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that... it's, it's it's near some amusement park mm-hmm. in Philadelphia. Dutch Wonderland, that's what it is. There okay, you go, yeah. Dutch Wonderland. It's for little kids, which I guess makes sense, because that's what cartoons I see as, and I don't like it, but I understand. <laughs> yeah. It's it's nice that they put Adventure Time in here, though. It's like, hey, uh, don't forget that show. Yeah. It, it is yeah, why you exist art, they have, still. In the concept art, they have, like, they have like um, uh, uh, BMO, which is, like, that, as, like, the inner sign. Mm-hmm. That's neat. And there's Finn and Jake on top of it. As a person who doesn't watch Adventure Time, is that character like important or relevant? Huh? Like, yeah. 
He is a fan. Yeah, he lives with Finn and Jake. Does he does he do things that matter? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Yeah, he, he's he's like a li living robot with the uh, video games on um, built into him. Anyway, he looks, he looks like a Game Boy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so next news. Oh wait, Saber, are you there? Saber you died. Man. So <laughs> more to say about Cartoon Network Hotel. No, I'm sorry. No, no. I thought I, I, I muted myself. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I, I muted myself. What's up? Oh, any thoughts on the Cartoon Network Hotel? Uh, you know, it's weird because I, 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 I never really had any desire to go to things that aren't Disney. Uh, that sounds awful. Um, mm -hmm. But it's also closed-minded. For all I know, it could be good. And, and, and they'll... Isn't it fucking in, in like, Amish country? <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, in, in Philadelphia? The, I, I thought... The, Philadelphia? <laughs> Cartoon Oh, hotel. no, not Philadelphia. Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's... I, it's I, I always it's, mix up the city and the, and the state. <laughs> yeah, but I say I was confused. Yeah, this is here in the headline, uh... Cartoon Network is opening a hotel in Pennsylvania's Amish country. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's, near, it's I... near a theme park called Dutch Wonderland. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Is it D-U-T-C-H? Yep. Yeah. All right, Dutch Wonderland, cool. All right, cool, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I, I keep, I keep like, uh, messing up Philadelphia and Pennsylvania. Don't even worry about it. I still mix up yellow and white somehow. It'll never stop. Everyone mixes stuff up. All right. Um. Next, uh, let's talk about some live action stuff. Um, with apparently legendary wants to make a live action My Hero Academia. <laughs> it like really needs to stop. <laughs> Like, live-action remakes of anime isn't actually that new. That's that stuff's been going on for a while. But, like, in the, in the era of uh, Disney live actionifying everything, it just it just feels like another slap to the face. Like, I just I just don't like this trend of feeling that animation needs to be live-actionified. Like, it, it's a strong enough medium to stand on its own. I yeah. guess it's getting a little frustrating to me. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of it. Because I mm -hmm. saw the uh, live action in Attack on Titan back in the day, I'm like, it's just, I, I, it looks superior animated. Why waste our time on this? Like, is there an audience right. who's not going into it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't watch cartoons. Okay, well, you're a fucking idiot, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, you understand that this medium is so much better and more capable and has more possibility than live action ever will. Even if it has CGI or computer animation, it's still not going to be as good. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, I, it's like, why waste your time? What are you going to add to this? As, as, a, as someone who watches the anime, I just don't care. It's dumb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, speaking of dumb, um, let's talk about Disney rebooting Pirates of the Caribbean. <sighs> How many Pirates movies were there? Were there four? Five. Five. <gasps> there was one last year. There was a, oh, oh, dear. Was it last year or the year before? Anyway. Yeah, there were five. Um, apparently, yeah, in the, in the article I linked, um, it's like, um, it says, like, Disney rebooting pirates, um, as insurance against Star Wars or Marvel fatigue. They're like, <laughs> I'm like, are you listening to yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I, the the I reason you're just... rebooting pirates is so you won't have Marvel or Star Wars fatigue. I'm pretty sure people already have pirates fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched two pirates movies and I'm already fatigued. I gotta be honest, <laughs> but it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I I get, I know it's money, but I really feel like they are just releasing too many movies and people are getting tired. <laughs> like, yeah. There's so many Disney it's, it's, movies. It's, it's, it, this is and all their original stuff fails. Like the, the there was a, a Wrinkle in Time, and there was recently that that movie that released uh, this month called uh, uh, Nutcracker in the Four Realms, which like oh, bombed cares. hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it, it's 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 like I get it. Like, but at the same time, they're so afraid to lose money. So like I get it. Mm -hmm. But but at the same time, it's like you. You're going to cause fatigue. 
Like, mm-hmm. guaranteed. Guaranteed. And you've seen it happen. I've seen it happen in my lifetime so many times. It's like, this is no different. Y'all ever uh, wonder what's going to happen? Like, do you think this is going to be... Cause typically, when you see changes in media and culture, it's due to something... It's almost like fucking nature, where it's like, okay, well, the wolves died off. There's so many deers, and they're going to fucking collapse because there's not enough food going around, and they collapse. Okay, what mm-hmm. happens now? And it's like, well, this, I know that's a really far-stretched example, but right. like, okay, there's so many uh, Star Wars and reboots and nostalgia and nostalgia and nostalgia, and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Okay, and someone offers something new. Something offers mm-hmm. something new. It's different and unique, and people love it. And, and then nobody copies that. They're fucking net decking. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not They're to make any, not, to, not not to make anyone like mad because I know this might, but like I'm actually genuinely surprised. Marvel fatigue is not like more of a thing right now. I, I am Marvel fatigue. I, I think so it's because tired. the movies themselves, um, like the heroes, mm-hmm. have come from very different like, like powers. I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, like Guardians of the Galaxy is nothing like Captain America. Right. Um, and like Doctor Strange is nothing like Ant Man. Mm-hmm. So, that's probably why people aren't tired of it. And like people are like right. really super fans of of these heroes anyway. What about what about after because the next Avengers movie is like a, the after the back. next one? I'm not sure what's going to happen. This I, is I the thing. Like that'll be it. Well, mm. they'll take a break. They have to, but right. they will come back to it. Here's Pell's absolutely right. Like there's enough diversity in the Marvel world for it to be unique. If it was, and all... there's enough diversity in the DC world, but they fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, they don't know what they're doing. I like legit though. Um, and by the way, and both in competition with each other causes even more fatigue. But like mm-hmm. Marvel is is so diverse and and well thought out, and it's not perfect. It really isn't, but it's fun. And when done right, which they've done so far, it's it's been a good time. Like okay, Captain America is so different compared to Iron Man, who's so different compared to Doctor Strange, who's so different compared to fucking Thor. They're different enough stories for me to go see individual films and they seem to come together. Mm-hmm. Now, if they continue this on for the next five to ten years, then I'll be bored. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, I'm done. And that's a problem with Star Wars. It's all fucking Star Wars. Space. Yeah, it's, it's so weird because Star Wars, <laughs> despite having a huge universe, feels limited. so limited. Yeah. 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 Like, in, in, in four movies, people are already tired of it. Right. I've noticed that I actually get... It's not a good quality. I wish I didn't have this. Like, I, I tend to get bored of certain like ideas faster than other people do. I've, I've noticed it over the years. So like after after two Pirates movies, I was like, eh, okay. <laughs> and after, I've watched nine Marvel movies. I just, I cannot watch anymore. I just, I'm so burnt out. Uh, I don't know. I, if people like them, more power to them. I want people to have fun, but uh, I do feel like they're gonna cause burnout if they don't switch it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking after the next Avengers, it's, it's gonna be telling what's gonna happen afterwards. Well, mm. Star Wars is played out. I'm so bored with it, and they've done a bad job at handling it because they mm. went right out the gate. Oh, and Wars, they didn't have a Wars. plan for a story. That's the thing. I loved it. I love how so many folks were quick to mock them, too. Like, Marvel had a plan from the very, very beginning. They were like, yeah. we're, here's where we go to reach Infinity War. That's how you have a good story. I will never not reference it. Look at Avatar. Holy yeah. go- oh my god, Avatar had the story. Like, here's the entire thing. Yeah, and giant blue people it. on robots. And and not people. that one! <laughs> <laughs> that one is... Offensively How are they going to make five sequels? What, four or five sequels to that? Don't talk about it. They're You'll not. be 60 by the time they're on three. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they, <laughs> they, 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 they fucked that up. It'd be funny if actually James Cameron, in his brilliant, genius way, somehow saves it where he waits until Star Wars and Marvel fatigue are so fucking high that he's like, Avatar. And people <laughs> love it. $5 million for the first one. $6 billion for the next one. My God. Twenty billion dollars. <laughs> he did it again. <laughs> wow. All right. Um, cool. Eh, enough talking about that. Um, so, speaking about live action stuff, like anime live action adaptations. Before, um, let's talk about video game live action adaptations with 
Monster Hunter. Mm, do you want me to? Do you want me to be the guy? I don't want to be, be the, the guy. guy. <laughs> no, I don't want to be the guy. But I'm gonna be the guy. Okay, so that trailer, it doesn't. Okay, it looks not that great actually. Um, sitting on it, and you told me that what it's like, people from Earth are transported into. Yeah, they're the going to a portal into the Monster Hunter world, and then they have to like try to get keep them from coming to Earth or something. Why? Or Monster like Hunter that. has definitely enough lore and story to have an, a, like a It'd story. It'd be like if they the made Monster the Warcraft universe. movie like that. Like, why would you? Oh, people would lose their god. <laughs> like, if they like, mind. okay, the orcs are coming to Earth. <laughs> and I was like, mm -mm. what? Yeah, we're <laughs> talking about the uh, Blitzer drama, by the way. We're, we should talk about that, right? Oh, yeah, I forgot to add that to the docket, but yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Can't say docket. Don't say that word. <laughs> that word is reserved. Dock it, dock it, dock it. For, for, a, for a, a buffalo man. Um, okay, so in the trailer, what is it, like an eight second trailer? <laughs> I think it was. What was it? Okay, so. Yeah, it was, it was just like uh, the monsters fighting. Yes, they were in a city, so that's wrong off the bat. Yeah. Um, they It was Rathalos versus Gormagala. Gormagala, was, he had like shiny eyes. But his feelers weren't extended. The only time Gormagala has shiny eyes is when he's in his enraged form. His feelers are extended, so that's inaccurate. Tigrex was walking. Oh, wait, no, Rathalos was walking on his wings like a Tigrex. Rathalos don't do that. Rathalos <laughs> is breathing a stream of fire. They don't do that in Monster Hunter. See, they this is why we need people balls. like the producers of uh, Castlevania. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, oh my, there's so many inaccuracies. Because in, ca like, in Castlevania. Eight seconds! <laughs> Because in Castlevania, it's like, oh man, I use that move, and I know those characters, and like, I know that thing, and this is like, right at, why is this wrong? <laughs> right at the end of the trailer, freaking Rathalos roared, and I was like, that's a Tigrex roar. So he walks like a Tigrex and roars like a Tigrex. Why is he not a Tigrex? <laughs> but. Oh. Yeah. They, they, want it, they want to make it like the Resident Evil series. It just blew my mind in eight seconds. I was like, that was so many inaccuracies. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> so what's the movie going to be like? By the way, I really like Monster Hunter. This is a really big deal for me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to go see it? Oh, of course. And I'll be <laughs> mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. See, that's why I didn't, didn't want to say anything. Because I know it's just going to be mad. <laughs> okay, uh... Uh, Saber, you want to go ahead and talk about the the Blizzard stuff um, before let's you go on to this other stuff? Yeah, let's do it. Um, I saw an article today that I, I don't know if it's true or not, uh, but uh, so what happened this past weekend was BlizzCon. It's a convention that Blizzard, uh, a video game company, hosts every year. Um, well, it used to be every couple of years, but now it's every year. And uh, they had some, pretty, some announcements for their titles, and, and Blizzard doesn't really have a shit ton of titles, but the ones that they have, they try to take good care of. And Blizzard has a good reputation in the industry, for the most part. Um, Overwatch had uh, the announcement of a new hero. Uh, StarCraft is dead. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Apparently there was a good tournament that went on at the BlizzCon that was pretty insane. But um, Hearthstone an announcement of an expansion, who gives a shit. Um, Warcraft. Uh, did you see the um, the Sarafang cinematic, by the way, Hero? Yeah, I did, yeah. That, that was good. I'm actually mm -hmm. interested to see what happens. Not enough to play the game, huh? Yeah. Um, there's a... I still just want them to make a movie that looks like that. Come on now. Right. WoW Classic comes out next summer. Uh, yeah. The demo's apparently out for selected people. Hopefully it'll be good. I might try that out. Right, um, well, definitely. Warcraft 3 Reforged, which is a remastered version of Warcraft 3 announced. I will play that, definitely. Yes. Um, but uh, Diablo had a lot of hype leading up to its announcement. Mm -hmm. now, Diablo yeah, even like before the con, right? Yes. Like they said, oh yeah, we're going to talk about Diablo stuff. Some Something big, guys, something big. Uh, eight years ago, Diablo 3 came out. It's been that um, long? I, it's yes, been that long. <laughs> That's what I thought, and the thing is, or like I think it was like seven or something. It's been a while, um, but I I remember uh, actually was it 2012? Whatever. It, it's been like six or something years. That being said, Diablo had a rough start. 
ended up doing all right. There was some weird like auction house bullshit that turned off a lot of players, but at, at its core, the game's really good. Uh, so there, the team runs Diablo. Those are separate teams for separate games, or separate games. They're hyping it up, and they announced Diablo Immortal, which is a mobile game, like a mobile like mm-hmm. like you use play with your phone and tablet to play a Diablo game, and that's it. That's it. And and the audience was shocked. Uh, no yeah. cheering. And during None. the Q and A, you've got folks who are like, "Is this an out of season April Fool's joke?" Um, praise that guy for being so cool and ballsy for asking them that. <laughs> and the guy who said, "Okay, a mobile game, but are there any plans for an actual game or a port to PC?" No. Which the audience booed, and the guy on stage reacted, "Don't you all have phones?" Which is a very rude way to react mm, to an right. audience of PC fucking gamers. <laughs> <laughs> It's like going to a cowboy convention and announcing scuba gear. And it's like, <laughs> it has no connection with what each other. I don't know. That's a really mm-hmm. bad example. But uh, it's, it's, it doesn't make sense. It's like, it, this doesn't make sense. Why, why would you announce it at BlizzCon? Right, why would yeah. you make it a big deal? And apparently in the article I read today, there is, they're, they're, they are in the works of doing Diablo 4. But and they were going to announce it, but they didn't. But I don't believe that article because it doesn't make sense for them to not announce it. Because mm-hmm. apparently, yeah. when when uh, that that uh, would soften the blow quite a lot. <laughs> that's what happened with Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah. Uh, online. I'm sorry. Uh, what's the name of the guy? Is it Toby or um, who, who's the guy who runs Todd? Uh, Todd. Todd. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It? Todd. When Todd announced Elder Scrolls Mobile, uh, he said, "Just so you all know." in-game purchases but they're not mandatory the game is a side project we're doing another elder scrolls game that's all the audience needs to know that's all they need to know there's yeah because like they showed like a sent- simple trailer like elder scrolls 6 and people went nuts for it yeah because when i first heard of the mobile game i th- I, I thought that wow fuck off i don't give a shit but then when they said elder scrolls 6 it's like oh yeah <laughs> and guess what if, if i'm a diablo fan if you made Diablo 4 and then a Diablo mobile game, I am more likely to check out the mobile game versus just the mobile game. Oh, fuck that. Mm-hmm. Like, they, they, it's, it's so poor because like, the way they did Elder Scrolls made so much more sense. You soften the blow. You give them an option. And you give them what they want. And it's like, Blizzard, shame on you. And, and, and this is probably Activision because Activision owns Blizzard. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it, it, it's also one of those moments we kind of realize the Blizzard you fell in love with isn't really there anymore. It's gone. Yeah. It's long been gone, actually. Like, uh, kudos to Jeff from Overwatch for trying to keep shit up. Like, I think he truly cares and his team's done a great job. But that tends to be the, the course, like, for when games are early on for Blizzard and they don't do new, new IPs too often. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, all in all, I, I'm, I, I, I uninstall Blizzard, the app, off my computer. I just don't care. I'll play Warcraft 3 or Forge when it comes out because it'll probably be beautiful and fun. Um, I'll try out Classic. Hopefully it's good. But that's about it for now. Um, you know the funny thing about Diablo Immortal? Um, people were saying that, like, oh, it's like a reskinned version of a, a different Chinese mobile game because it's being outsourced to a Chinese company. Um and there, there were like two different games uh, that people were citing, um, and the thing is, like, I see a lot of people on Twitter were like defending Blizzard, and yeah. it's like you realize they're outsourcing this game, right? <laughs> like, it's not them making it. So Ooh, Deli, Deli eighteen set in before what ruined Blizzard. The fact that that Ooh. that that that's. Spicy. Ooh, Ooh Saber, you can do that. that. That would, like, go back to what the first what Ruin you did with Warcraft. Right? I didn't even know that. I wish I had more time. Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> Maybe sometime next year. Um, I'm writing this down. Man, WoW subscription number. It used to be, like, what, 12.4 million at the peak of Wrath, and now it's estimated to be, like, 1.7 mil. People do not like BFA. All right. Yeah, they don't. They don't, they don't care about it. Sorry, no. I'm, not, I'm racking my brain. What is this? See, the thing is, the, the thing is, though, they're doing something in uh, patch 8.2, I believe, which is this new patch coming up, where like you can side with if you're on the horde, you can side with Sarfang, or you can side with Sylvana. So like that is such a no-brainer 
It yeah, almost fucking hurts. Sar fang, you fucking it almost hurts that you need shit. a mask. Of course I'm going with the Orc. Silvana sucks! <laughs> Where's Thrall? Like, he might come back. He might come back. They said so in Bliss. Well, they didn't say so, but the, the voice actor Thrall. for Thrall came up. He's like, so is there any chance of Thrall coming back? And Ian was like, maybe. Maybe. Which pretty much sounds like a soft confirmation for Thrall returning. I would love to see that. Like, yeah. even from a, like I'll, I'll get a book to read about that. If the, the, Can you imagine, like, Sylvanas, like, she's about to, like, kill Sarfang, and then some fucking hammer comes down. There's electricity around it. And yeah. Thrall's like, you've been here long enough. And it's like, oh, if my God, a, it's if that was an, Yeah, if that was an animatic, I would, like, fall out of my seat. That would yeah. Just Beautiful. Yeah, I would love that. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. Just thinking it. about it, right? He's just like, like you see her here. eyes like open, you see like electricity shooting all around him and, and it's like mm-hmm. like even like yeah fucking yeah fucking uh Anduin sitting in a chair waving in the corner. I love it. <laughs> That's the nerds. So long. All right, let's talk about more nerdy stuff. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about more nerdy stupid video game stuff. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, I, I saved this video game stuff for the end. Uh, there's three things to talk about. Um, first of all, the PlayStation Classic uh, had all of its games um, confirmed for what it's going to be. Um, and some people are like, oh boy, it's... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's pretty boring, IMO. Gotta yeah. be honest. So yeah, it's uh, Final Fantasy VII, which we already knew about. Uh, Ridge Racer Type Four, mm-hmm. we already, already knew. Uh, Tekken 3. Um... Uh, Grand Theft Auto, the first one. Uh, it's Metal a good Ge- game. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid. Uh, Twisted Metal, uh, Battle Arena Toshinden, which was like a very early fighting game on the PS One. <laughs> Never um, even heard of it. Uh, cool Borders Two, which is a snowboarding game. Uh, Destruction Derby. Never played that. Intelligent Cube, uh, a puzzle game. Uh, Jumping Flash. Uh, which that was confirmed before. Mr. Driller, another puzzle game. Uh, Oddworld Abe's Odyssey, uh, which the Oddworld games are, are good. Uh, Rayman, mm-hmm. the first Rayman. Resident Evil Director's Cut. Uh, Revelations Persona, that's one that took everybody surprise. That's, surprise. Yeah, but Persona 1? <laughs> yeah. That's actually the one Persona I haven't played, and it doesn't look good. That's why I haven't played it. <laughs> <laughs> but, eh, that's weird. Uh, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. I mean, people like Puzzle Fighter. Yeah. But yeah, an, a, an unusual amount of puzzle games. Um, mm-hmm. Siphon Filter. Uh, mm. I haven't played. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, which is really weird to have that kind of game on PlayStation Classic when there's no analog control. Oh, did it use analog? I, I think it, it, it could. I'm not sure how it does uh, without okay. it, though. Mm-hmm. Um, and Wild Arms, which was also confirmed before. Um, mm-hmm. so they yeah, per- why is Parappa the Rapper not on this? Yeah, Parappa the Rapper, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro the Dragon. Crash, ba- yeah. Crash Bandicoot was the mascot. Yes, the mascot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Parappa the Rapper, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro the Dragon, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I don't know why that's not on there. That's like a mm-hmm. huge PlayStation uh, right. game. Um, I don't think might because of might be because of the trilogy. That's my best guess. I don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm guessing it's. It, it's probably because, like, oh, well, we already had the Crash trilogy, we have the Spyro trilogy, and that Castlevania mm-hmm. thing just came out, Requiem. Um, but Parappa, where? Parappa, where you yeah, at? where's that? <laughs> where's, like, Chrono Cross? Where's, like, any other RPG? <laughs> Chrono Cross is too good to be on this thing, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, like, they could have put Final Fantasy Tactics on there to have another Final Fantasy type of thing. Final Fantasy but Tactics still not... is so good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. There, there's a lot of things that they, they should have had 30 games, not 20. They should have, yeah. Yeah. Because the PlayStation library is huge, and there's a Dude, lot of Dude, where's, where's Air Geeks? God bless the ring. Where is it? No one has any idea what the game that is. No one. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> it's a Final Fantasy fighting game that I used to have. This is really bad. It's awful. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things that probably should have been on this. Um... Oh, Carl Bloke said there's no Legend of the Dragoon either. Yeah, yeah. which is weird because that's a first party title. Uh huh. Yeah. Why wouldn't they put that on there? They could have had Legend of Lagaya on there too. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good game. That Jax has played for some reason. I was like, why have you played that game? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that's 
a good game though. Yeah, so they they were probably rushing this out because they mm-hmm. thought Nintendo was going to put out the N sixty four classic this year, but mm-hmm. they haven't. <laughs> Which oh, I, I don't, if, if they are going to release it this year, they only have like one month left, but I don't think mm. they are. I think they're going to release it next summer. Mm. Um, so it, it definitely feels like they rushed this. Um, especially because it doesn't come with an AC adapter. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the big We, we, we that. need more money! <laughs> <laughs> money, so, money, yeah, it's, money! It's a hundred dollars, so with these games... That's a hundred! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's some good games on there. I'm not denying it, but, like, there could be a better selection. <laughs> yeah. Once once people get, uh, like, make a program for you where you can, like, crack it and put whatever game you want on there, that's when I'll get it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I'll just put whatever PlayStation game I want. So, it, and it has, like, an HDMI output, so I can do that. Not impressed. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, I'll probably still get it at some point, but just la- much later on. Um. Next, let's uh talk about the Smash Direct. <gasps> Everyone died. Everyone did die. <laughs> Except, Except for, Kirby. for Pink God. Yeah, yes, because God because uh, bias. <laughs> because mega bias. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> Because it's not ba- baby, should it? How, how did they and that did... in Politana? They both. I was like, what? Y'all are yeah, super uh, yeah, yeah. Strong. You should watch um uh, Lawson's video about that. Yeah, I like... saw that. I was doing something. I didn't see it yet, but uh, freaking Bayonetta. My yeah. girl is like. Yeah. Oh yeah. One thing in Lawson's <laughs> video he mentioned is like you don't see Wario here. You don't see him die. That's because <laughs> uh, canonically Wario is immortal. Oh really? Yeah. Why is that like in, in the Wario Land Four manual, it says Wario Land's immortal. He can just be like squished and squashed and whatever, but he's he's immortal. He can't die. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, they could they could just make people mad, like in Marvel vs. Capcom Three, where you can kill the Hulk, and people are like, "Dad, you can't, you can't." <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so a few things were announced. The last fighters, um, Ken and Incineroar. Uh, <laughs> wow. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Ken, I was expecting, because I was like, oh yeah, Wait, Echo of Rio, that, that makes sense. What about Piranha Plant? Yeah, well, he's not part of the base game. Like, he's he's a free character uh, that you can get, like, in February? In February, yeah. Yeah, because he's not ready yet. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. He um, looks fun. I can't wait to play him. But, uh, yeah, Ken, sure. It's weird, because I talked to you about this before. It's like, what are the qualifications exactly to be an Echo Fighter? Because Echo Fighters can have differences from their from their base form, Ken's being Ryu, sure. But they're like, here's how Ken's different. They get, like, a list. And it was like, yeah. five things. I was like, okay, that's fine. But then Lucas and Ness aren't echoes of each other, and they're, like, almost the same amount of differences between Ken and Ryu. I was, I was like, I don't know what, how different <laughs> they have to be. I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, there, there's a lot, there, there's some que- questions uh, about who's an echo, where I can definitely say why, uh, mm-hmm. It, or, or why they're not an Echo, because people are like, oh, why isn't Dr. Mario an Echo? It's like, well, he's down B, is completely different. Right. Um, yeah, be with the side scroll A, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the R bumper to the... Anyway, you know, um, one thing that kind of put me down <laughs> when I... R bumper to the left. <laughs> R bumper. No, like, uh, Street Fighter, uh, Hadouken! I was looking at me, I'm, uh, I'm uh, Sub-Zero, Hadouken! Oh my god, that video. <laughs> <laughs> I love that shit. Um... Anyway, yeah, a couple of things from the uh, the direct. Uh, one thing that I was kind of disappointed by when I was first watching it, I was like, "Oh man, no trophies." I liked having trophies, um, but spirits. The more I look into them, I'm like, "Okay, spirits are, are cool uh, as long as there's sh- there's a shit ton of them." Uh, I'm good with because like they're literally just the art from the games. Um, 
so that'll that'll be fun to collect. And then, like at the very end of the directs, they reveal the adventure mode, which is called World of Light, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. which it looks like it's going to be uh, pretty fun. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. They. I hope there's more. Th- I. It, it seems like from the the Japanese direct, which I didn't watch, but I heard like hear you say, it seems like they made it pretty clear that they want you to use your imagination and like they weren't going to make like a full like here is what happens so like this one cutscene maybe like one of the very few if not only cutscenes yeah probably in that mode unfortunately because it looks so good yeah it looks so good but um yeah it's it's funny because uh after, again after this direct we, we talked about like our thoughts and what you look for in smash is completely totally different from what i look for in smash but that's fun because we both look forward to the game. Yeah, because I look for like, content, basically. Right, and single player yeah. stuff. And the most exciting thing to me, I thought this director was really exciting and I wasn't disappointed at all because uh, the thing that was exciting to me was uh, just a little tiny detail when they were talking about uh, the ranked mode and they're like, if you, we'll have like a high tier rank mode called like elite ranked or something, whatever it's called. And you're like, we will take a close look at the results of these matches and then balance characters accordingly. I was like, that sounds awesome. You're paying attention to balance. I'm a big about that. So that was really exciting for me. Whereas for you, I'm, I'm probably- For me, I'm just gonna use all these spirits it. and do crazy shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which is fine, that's a fine way to play um, the game. Yeah, oh, there was another thing I was gonna say about the- Oh yeah, you- for the, the single player mode, uh, cause it, mm-hmm. The adventure mode isn't the only single player mode because there's like the spirits where there's like these different challenges and stuff um and also just different challenges where you can unlock like a mural of stuff um but there's also still the returning classic mode uh which was revealed in the last smash direct um because the returning classic mode uh is something i think people were wanting after smash 4 because smash 4's classic mode or i guess quote unquote classic mode is shit it's bad um (laughs) Because <laughs> you just have these, like, trophies on a board where, like, they just show up and you just go, like, okay, this is where I go to fight these characters and then go fight these characters, whatever. Uh, and it's not, like, even, like, a changing board or anything. It's just, like, a board. Um, <laughs> where this uh, is, like, um, a returning classic mode where each classic mode is specifically tailored for each character. So, like, I I, I think, like, somebody said it, like, the first fight on, uh, like, Ryu's... Um, classic mode is fighting ken Mm -hmm. so like each each mode is completely each classic mode is completely different for each character which is like that's that's a that's a lot of detail there so Mm -hmm. i like that yeah um you said that you were disappointed in the uh the piranha plant reveal that's the last one though um not so much now, but mainly because like mm-hmm. when I when it's first first revealed, I, I just like had my dreams crushed because Isaac was revealed <laughs> as a an assist as trophy. An assist, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh no, Isaac, why? This was your chance. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. but I I'm I'm more into it now, and plus it's like a free extra character, so right. Mm-hmm. It, it, there is a lot of people seem upset. Like, not a lot, but enough people seem upset about it. To where I, I have to go back to what I said about like me being a consumer. Sometimes I don't know what I want. There's no way in the world someone would ask me and be like, "What's the next Smash character you want?" And I'd be like, "Yo, you know what I'm really looking forward to do? Looking forward to Piranha Plant." <laughs> yeah. Never. But then seeing him in action, I'm like, "Yo, this character looks sick, <laughs> 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 dude." So yeah, sometimes take that, Waluigi fans. Right. <laughs> Ah, I got nothing to say on that. I'm sorry, <laughs> Waluigi fans. Piranha Plant looks dope. <laughs> All right, uh, last video game thing before we go into Q and A. Uh, let's talk about the this thing that just dropped on Halloween. Uh, Delta Room. You want to? You want to put up a? Uh, is it, is, we're we're probably not going to talk, talk about like spoilers. I, I, I'm going to walk away or mute. Yeah, yeah you I, I want nothing about this shit. Yep. Do right. it. Can, 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 I'll, I'll add you. Have, how do I do that on this thing? Hold on. Do what? Uh, how do I deafen myself in the call? Yeah, I never knew that. I just have a deafen on my keyboard. I'm, I'm just, my volume's all the way down. 
Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, add, just, I'll add, add you. you. Just uh. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll add you when we're done. we're done talking about it. I guess. <laughs> um. Okay. No spoilers, cause this is good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Deltarune. Yeah. It was um. Uh, Toby Fox released Deltarune like a free demo, uh, on Halloween, and people were like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> So people played it, it was like, oh, damn, this is like a two and a half hour, three hour thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, uh, it's, oh, man, how do you not talk about spoilers? <laughs> you <laughs> you uh, just don't want to spoil it at all. I don't, I want to play it. It's good. Yeah, you it's just got to gotta play it. You and... just got to play it. Here's here's a non-spoiler. The music, oh, God. Oh, yeah, oh, the it's music's so really, good. really good. It's so good. It's so good. Please. Please play it. <laughs> um, yep, that's really all you can say. I don't know how much more you yeah, can. Yeah, if it. you've played Undertale, you'll you'll like it. Mm-hmm. If you liked Undertale, there's some neat surprises in there. I was like, oh, ooh, yeah, so, and and witty banter as you expect from the Fox yeah. Man. I just so. know that it's going to be a while before we get the rest of this. Mm. Um. Because Toby Fox said on on Twitter that it he's going to say it's going to take maximum seven years to complete this whole right. thing. So, yeah, I'd prefer them to release it all at once, though. So yeah, rather than having oh. them at, like I hate it, episodic things. being in episodic. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, no spoilers. Just go into it blind, uh, like we did, and, mm-hmm. and play it. it. It's really good. And then be like, oh my god, the music. <laughs> yeah, the music's super good. Uh, Toby Fox is, like, really good. I don't, I don't get it! <laughs> He's some dude. How is he so good? Yeah. Yep. That, okay. That's yeah, all. The, yeah, that's no spoilers. That's really, <laughs> that's really <laughs> undescript, but, like, <laughs> that's all we can do. Yeah. Okay, at, at Saber. I added him. Okay. If you're going to... If you want to ask us questions, our Twitter handles are right here. You can ask us on Twitter. As well as um, uh, using a super chat if you want to. And we do have one super chat. Right. So, let's see. Uh, Connor Jackson. Uh, Connor Jackson. Connor Johnson asks, uh, how would you so describe the rock band Queen? Um, yeah, we, we talked about it earlier with, um... Oh, the rock band, comma, queen, okay. Yeah, the rock band queen. <laughs> I was like, who's the rock band queen? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, um... How, just, how do you feel about them? Uh, after watching Bohemian Rhapsody, I would say... <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> uh, bef- before watching Ra- Bohemian Rhapsody, uh, and just, like, growing up hearing the music, uh, overplayed. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the most overplayed bands in history. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. But yeah, they're, they're still good, though. Like, just because they're overplayed doesn't mean they're not good. Yeah. Alright, sorry guys, I, I was walking around my room. Um, I'm back! Uh, Saber, Wait, how would you describe the rock band Queen? Gay? No, I'm um, <laughs> <laughs> I said fabulous. <laughs> uh, how to describe... Uh, and, uh... and also overplayed. Uh, Queen, I I'd, I'd say talented. I mean, they 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 were truly great. I mean, yeah, overplayed, but that's because they're fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. The end. Over, overplayed and amazing. That's that's it. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got on on Twitter here. Um, <laughs> I know that there was there was a few from uh from Ryan earlier, so let me go down there. Uh, Here, I listened to your dollar on dog thing today again. Oh my god, really? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I just the fact that it lined up perfectly is so funny. It's great. I love it. <laughs> the dog's <is> amazing. No, <laughs> <coughs> do uh, John asks, "Have you seen the gameplay teaser of Ripto's Arena from the Spyro Reignited trilogy?" Alora's Bay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Alora. Is that the, is that like the the Servine girl or whatever? She's the fawn. Oh. She's got like deer legs and a deer torso. Is, is Servine even the right word? 
I don't know what that is. I think maybe relating to deer, deer like. Yeah. Is that close enough? I, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I said it. I was like, I think that's the word. I'm not even sure. Um, John also asked, what are your thoughts on the trailer for the Medieval remake? Did they release a new trailer? Did they really? Oh, yeah, did they release a trailer? I didn't see that. Medieval was fun. I really liked it. Uh, Ryan asks, uh, what are your personal opinions on the live-action How the Grinch Stole Christmas and the Cat in the Hat? Freaking weird! <laughs> yeah, they're very <laughs> weird. Um, specifically the Cat in the Hat's very weird. That That is super weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't really... Like, I know people like... Yeah, I, I have some nostalgia movie. for How the Grinch Stole Christmas for the, the live-action version, though. Even though the, the, think, the movie looks very washed out. I think Jim Carrey went all out on that one, which I, I yeah. give him credit. But besides that, like, on a, from a critical point of view, I'm like, it's just, eh, it's just, eh, to me. Average. Mm -hmm. Nothing special. And I like how the new Grinch Illumination, it looks like the Grinch is gonna fuck your girlfriend. Like, in the posters, if you look at his face, he's got this uh -huh. face with a... Yeah, he's got like a, like a, I'm gonna fuck your girlfriend kind of face. Oh my god. <laughs> Versus like the other one where it's like, I'm gonna stab you, you know, because that's how the Grinch is from Chuck Jones in the book. Right. And it's like, you know, he's like, yeah, this guy, he's got like spite in his eyes. Like, he hates Christmas. Versus yeah. like the Grinch, the commercial for this one, it's like, man, I'm irritated by Christmas. It's like, no, there's irritated, and then there's, I fucking hate this. And. <laughs> And Illumination, like, again, like, there's that picture where it shows the original design they have for the Grinch. It's like, wow, you, you got it. Oh, wait, never mind. Never You're mind not using it. it. Right. So it's annoying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, question from Ryan here. Uh, thoughts on Al Jean confirming that Apu is staying on The Simpsons? Cool. Yeah, yeah we talked about Apu's it earlier. Crazy. Yeah. Was, uh, that, was that a recent thing? I don't know. Sort of recent. Um, sort of recent, okay. Uh, Ryan also asks, uh, in relation to good video game cartoon shows, thoughts on Sonic Sad AM? Um, I remember watching uh, that as a kid. Man, I wish Shax was here for that one. <laughs> he would have a thing to say. Um, yeah, I don't think I watched specific- I watched, like, a lot of Sonic shows, but not that one specifically. Yeah, it's- it's pretty good from- from what I've seen of it. Mm-hmm. Is that the one with, uh, Jaleel White, or is that a different Sonic one? Uh... I think he was in both. Like, he voiced both, he was in both. Sonics. Okay. okay. I think. Yeah, because he wasn't the voice for Sonic in Sonic Underground, if I remember correctly. Sonic Underground is a show that I really liked when I was little, and I went back to watch it. I was like, oh, <laughs> man. They retconned those characters with that quickness, man. <laughs> like, yeah. They do not exist. Uh, Nathaniel asks, um, how does the idea of a Smash Mouth biopic sound? <laughs> About as bad as it sounds. <laughs> I actually watched a movie recently, um, I watched it last night with Laura and two of her friends. It was, God, I, I feel so bad because I forget his name was on Amazon. Um, it, it was made by, uh, Jermaine Clement, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, the guy who was the writer for Thor Ragnarok helped to write and direct it. Huh. Uh, it's about a bunch of vampires who are flatmates, and you follow them like a, it's like the office. Oh, oh, like, what we do in the shadows or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was I, fun. I, I, I need to watch that movie. It's good. Like yeah. I love it because they, they have the different vampires, and it's like you got like the Russian vampire, and then like the the fucking like uh, colonial day vampire, and they got like fucking Nosferatu. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's been a good season for vampires, guys. I like it. <laughs> that movie came out, like, years ago, though. It just came out years ago. It was fucking Castle Black. It came out years ago. Why have you watched it yet? <laughs> <laughs> Cartoon Bro asks, uh, let's see. Oh, we already talked about the Courage prequel. But uh, there's another thing. Is What are your thoughts on the live-action Tom and Jerry movie that's coming out in 2020? Oh, God. No. no. You know what? You know what? Whatever. They yeah. they have destroyed Dom and Jerry all over the place. This is just adding another destruction to the pile. Honestly, do they it's talk or like... are they or are they just there? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe in that Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie. They were just, they just existed while yeah, they Charlie just and the existed. Chocolate Factory played yeah. out. What? Why? And well, that that freaking we've got to have money thing really applies to that. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's Tom and Jerry. 
Um, We've got to have money. See, so Ryan asked, did you, did you hear there is an, uh, an, an Impractical Jokers movie being released next year? Impractical Jokers? I don't, I don't That sounds know familiar, but I don't know that what is. it is. I, yeah, I don't know. It has a good rating, but I don't know what it is. Uh, Enigma Friends has a super chat here. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, what other game systems would you like to see have a classic form, like the PS1 and uh, Super Nintendo, and what games would you put on them? Also, PSA on, on voting, please? Please vote. Please vote. <laughs> um, what other console? Um, what other console would I want? Uh, Sega Saturn, I guess. Yeah. Because I played the Sega Saturn. When People I was still little. can't get the emulation right on it, so it's like right. uh, try. <laughs> That's probably why they can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I would love a Sega Saturn classic. That'd be great. There were really good games on it. That game, that system, just did not do well. Let's Scratch do Turbo that. Nope. Nope. Roll that out the window. Just, just, just chuck it. Because I want the Dreamcast classic. Dreamcast classic. Yeah. Yeah. Dream class classic. Shut up. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> I, I actually thought it was a funny word combo. <laughs> Dream class classic. <laughs> um, Ryan asks, uh, any reality shows you find uh, guilty pleasures or generally good? Nope. <laughs> Just a hard oh, nope. Shit. Sorry. I can't remember it's if there was I anything I watched like before that I found as a guilty pleasure. Big Brother, Survivor, Amazing Race. Nope, uh, no my, pa my parents watch all of them, and I just can't stand them. It's Why is it always the parents? actually Big Brother. I don't know, I don't know. Like, I'm gonna grow up, my kids are gonna watch the the new wave of television and be like, why do parents always watch cartoons and anime? <laughs> <laughs> so whatever. Why would your dad let you watch sports? <laughs> Dad, why don't we have cable? I want to watch sports. I'm like, you want to pay the extra money for a month? Because I'm not trying. Not in my, my household. Excuse, excuse me, we won't even have cable then. Never mind, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, let's see, are there any preschool shows you casually watch out of nostalgia or find, found it? Uh, or find to be a guilty pleasure. Uh, another from Ryan. Oh, if we actually watch out of nostalgia. Hmm. hmm. Not really. They're just not story based enough to keep my yeah, interest. Yeah, there's there's not a lot that I really watch. Um, I. What I can think would, of that I would go back to watch. I would, I would watch like a clip of. Gala Gala Island every once yeah. in a while, but I mean Arthur. It. There's a bunch of clips I watch. Oh yeah, Arthur. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Arthur's story based enough to yeah to keep interest. Um, Cartoon Network fanatic asks, uh, "What are your thoughts on Red Dead Redemption Two? Uh, I haven't played cool. it. I, I don't have it. Um, but <laughs> apparently it had the second biggest entertainment launch in history. Nice." You know what the first one was? What? Grand Theft Auto V. Grand so Rockstar's Thought last game. Yeah. <laughs> um, there you go. Every time somebody says RDR2, I think it says R2D2. So. That's what I thought. <laughs> the real problem. So yeah, thoughts on the Nickelodeon web show, the JoJo and Bao Bao show show? What? That was that has to be made up. I don't know what that is. <laughs> the that Jojo Jojo. Boba Boba Boba. I have never heard of it. I'm sorry. Uh, Mirth Mauser asks. Uh, so with all these video game movies like Mario, Mega Man, and Sonic coming up, uh, do you think in 20 years indie games will get big big uh, big budget movies? I mean, who doesn't want to see a Shantae da da dance around on the big screen? Wow, he's playing to your interests. Yeah, Shantae movie. Stop yeah, Shovel Knight movie. That would be 
Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so sick, dude. <laughs> um, I don't know. Dustin Lee's into I... an animated movie. <laughs> Zootopia too. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, I can't see it happening. Prove me wrong. That'd be sick, but no, I can't see that happening. Unfortunately, just not enough money in it. Yeah. Somebody uh, asked just me a question, but I think oh, that's gonna apply to everyone. Uh, it says Hiro Sashi. Oh, it's from uh, the Cake Slayer one. So Hiro Sashi is supposedly ML- MLP ends at season nine and this season just ended how do you feel with g4 potentially ending soon do you want a g5 or do you just want it to end i mean there's gonna be a g5 (laughs) yeah there's gonna be a g5 i can't do nothing about that but uh personally i would just love for it to end yeah just let it let the ride end let let it end (laughs) like why why you gotta keep going it's because money but like it needs things need to die it's a natural like progression of the of, like things on the planet like i don't know stop milking things saber how then you feel about what g4 ending no just as long as it has a satisfying conclusion it's fine mm-hmm. sometimes um, it's better to to remember things that were good than have a continuing thing that's bad I well, at that point, there's nothing good left to care about. It's like, right. See SpongeBob. I don't know. Yeah, SpongeBob, Simpsons, Family Guy, South Park. It's like, guys, like, it's a certain point where this just needs to just end it, just conclude it. And, and it really just boils down to money. Because yeah. at, at a certain point, like, you're not telling a story. You're not telling art. You're just, your product, it makes money. And the companies who own it don't want to relinquish it because they know they're mm-hmm. going to keep up the, the merchandise and they want to, cause it, cause for them, it's not necessarily like the, even if let's say the ratings go down, the, the show still is a, their merchandise Titans. So right. keep them alive. It's almost like having a property going just so you can sell shit for it. So yeah, man, that's, that's the situation we're in. It's fucking agree. That keeps the shit mm-hmm. alive. Yeah. Uh, Mirth Mouser asks, how long do you think it will take before Nintendo makes a Splatoon anime? It's incredibly popular for a new AP, so it's only a matter of time. I mean, they have a manga. So, and a hentai. maybe. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. Hmm. Yeah, they, they could probably do an anime or something. There would be a lot of death in that anime. <laughs> It's Splatoon. <laughs> a lot of killing of children. <laughs> they just splatter. Mom and me. You're not gonna die. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ryan asks question for Saber. Yo. Uh, will you do a what what ruined video on Warner Brothers feature animation, uh, which was Warner Brothers theatrical animation before Warner Animation Group? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't want to throw out what ruins for studios that really don't warrant it um, like Fox animation was kind of a foregone conclusion because it yeah. did and th- this one's kind of similar to Fox because it's like Warner Feature Animation is like oh yeah we're going to do stuff and then they didn't do stuff for like years <laughs> yeah. yeah Warner's weird because like a lot of the companies that finally were able to catch up with Disney with like making their own animation studios <laughs> That's when Pixar arrived and the fucking industry changed. So they're all like, right. we did it. We saved them enough money and talent to, oh, God damn it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's so weird because Warner Brothers used to be like the main rival to Disney, like back in the early days with mm-hmm. uh, yeah, with their yeah. shorts. Yeah, they're um, both very old companies. They've been around since day one. Well, not day one exactly, but at least we're like. Yeah, because like, it was like Bugs times. Bunny and Mickey Mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that being said, like, I mean, Warner right now, at least they're trying. I mean, small foot, I didn't see it, but it's like, okay, it's at least it's different. <laughs> I thought you said Porner. I'm sorry. <laughs> Porner, you know, Porner Brothers. <laughs> um, but I, uh, I, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Le- they, they, they knocked it out of the park with Lego Movie, and, and Lego Batman was really good, too. So there's, there's yeah. absolutely hope for that studio. Mm. Yeah, though, Warner Ash Animation Group, like, uh, I think the actual animation, though, was made from Animal Logic for the Lego movies. And then there was a different studio for the, like, Storks and Smallfoot and all that. Um, okay. 
I'll have to look more into it. But um, I don't know. Stokes really just felt like an elimination movie to me. To me, uh, it, it it felt more like a Sony movie to me. It felt mm-hmm. like Sony or Blue Sky. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Um, Deliatine asks, do you think that the Game Boy controller uh, that'll be played for Ultimate will also be make make usage for other games on the Switch? Imagine playing oh. Super Mario Odyssey on a Game Boy controller. Um, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, probably. And I actually got it now. Like, because, like, you can actually pick them up, uh, in my, because my pre-order, it said that I was, like, ready for it, but I got the, the little adapter and also the controller here, which it, it feels very nice, so. Yours has a little Smash logo on it? Does mine yeah. have a Smash logo? Yeah, it has a Smash logo. Oh, mine looks a little different, actually. Yeah, mine has, like, the... Oh, yeah, you have the, the one that was for, um, Smash 4. For the, for the Wii U, yes. Yeah, which will also work with. Yes, it will. That's yeah, so currently it. always within the arm's reach of me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah um, but uh, yeah, they, I imagine you'll be able to use it for other things. Because you can use a Smash <laughs> like, 4. Like a GameCube Virtual Console, please? Nah, no. Stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um, let's see what else here. I have, I have another question from the cake Go store, ahead. actually. <laughs> Is that, uh... Hirosashi, what would you do without the POS podcast and all your friends? Uh, go to work, come back, play rhythm games, <laughs> watch anime, <laughs> go to sleep, rinse and repeat. <laughs> With without any friends. Yeah, none of that requires friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, Elmano Loco asked, "Did you hear they're making uh an?" A- <laughs> Making me animated, ugly doll dollars movie in twenty nineteen. What are your thoughts? Oh, oh yeah, the the ugly dolls movie that's coming out next year. It's based on like some kind of toy franchise called Ugly Dolls. Looks weird. Hmm. Saw a poster for it. Um, Evan Emanuel. I'm not sure why you asked this. Uh, are you participating in No Nut November? I am. You know, that, that's where Jax is right now. He says he's yeah. babysitting. Right. <laughs> babysitting that's where he sack. really is. Yeah. He's busting his nuts everywhere. I plead the fifth. All over that cre- creamy Peter Pan. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, ben Demand Dude. Uh, asks, what other char- characters do you uh, do you think you'd like added uh, with Sakurai announcing potential additional ones? Oh yeah, that's another thing that we didn't talk about with the Smash Direct, is that there's going to be DLC characters, um, there's going to be five of them, uh, like spread throughout the next year uh, up until like like February 2020 is when like everything's going to be on the, on the game. Um, well, I know Isaac's not going to be in, because uh, he's a cis trophy. I'd like Travis Touchdown from Nowhere Heroes. That'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. It's possible, because Bayonetta is in there. Yeah. Yeah, once I saw Bayonetta in it, I was like, oh, Travis has a chance. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, I, I still have the same answer as I've ever had. I want Dixie. That is the literally the only character I care about anymore. Dicks! 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 <laughs> <laughs> he dicks! <laughs> that is okay i that is one of the little battles that i've won because unfortunately i wish i was different it sucks unfortunately i like a lot of Dears. like unpopular yes <laughs> a lot of unpopular things which makes yeah, enjoying things really hard but um luckily because there was dixie kong in donkey kong country too i was like yeah this character is really cool and i like like her and diddy's like dynamic i guess but uh then donkey kong 64 came out and it was, it was tiny i was like oh they replaced dixie with tiny and then tiny kind of like did her around so i was like oh we forgot about dixie and then there was just a rebirth of dixie and they're like forget yeah. tiny kong she's gone now i was like yeah <laughs> dixie's back and it's the main attraction that's awesome so yeah hopefully hopefully she i mean she probably won't but it'd be cool if she did yeah um 
there, there's rumors going around that there's probably going to be another Square Enix rep. Um, Chrono from Chrono Trigger would be awesome. Mm. Um, Get Sora. all those Goku fans. <laughs> Sora? Sora could be in. Yeah. Isn't Sora too power? Uh, it doesn't matter in this match. Yeah, it doesn't right? matter. Like, they're all... all too, <laughs> there are so many characters in Smash that are too powerful. Like, is- Isabel versus Kirby? How is that even, like, a matchup? <laughs> yeah, and, like, course, the power like Shulk girl. has is, like, insane. To um, see the flipping future? Like... Yeah, there, there's even more than that, like, throughout the game. Mm. Uh, and then Bayonetta is, like, super powerful, so... <laughs> yes. <laughs> And definitely would not have died to those beams. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's no way. <laughs> that was really weird. It's like yeah, th- there's, there's a lot of a lot of characters I would like. I I really love Shantae to to be mm-hmm. in. Um, she's a spirit, but that doesn't necessarily mean she can't be a fighter. I know no one wants Pokemon. I yeah, know nobody no wants, wants another Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> I'm just saying, I wouldn't be too upset. If they put in like an Evolution, I think that'd be cool. But hmm. I know no one wants any more Pokemon. I completely yeah. Or understand. any more Fire Emblem characters, please stop. <laughs> Just delete four Fire Emblem characters and and don't add any more ever. <laughs> stop. <laughs> and we're good. They're just, I, I was telling you about this. I don't know, I, I don't dislike Fire Emblem. I'm a little salty at it because it took over Advanced Wars, which I think is more fun. But. I don't dislike it. It's just like in the Nintendo style, you look at like the character select screen, you have like all these interesting looking characters and you just have, just they're just anime, they're just anime. It's so boring compared to the other Nintendo characters. I don't know. Um, uh, Gumball asks, do you also think it's a uh, dumb that there's gonna be a live action Mega Man movie? I mean, yeah. <laughs> there's live action Mega Man and live action Sonic. It's so weird. <laughs> um, Santo Celine asks, um, uh, what's the one thing you fear getting rebooted uh, for more for for more money and won't let it die? Uh, says, Lion hey, King says if One Piece gets a re- reboot or sequel after the series ends by the author, uh, I'm I'm cutting myself <laughs> if the series ends. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the question is, what do you fear will get a reboot? Uh, f- uh, get rebooted for more money and won't let it die. So something that's currently active. Or has been active, I guess. Has been active. Okay. So basically anything. Okay. Um, I mean, Adventure Time recently ended, and I really want more, but I'm not sure if I'd like a reboot. They, mm. They'd have to do it in a very specific way. Wait, for Adventure Time? Yeah. No, Paleo, are you kidding me? That, 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 wouldn't, that wouldn't work. An Adventure Time reboot? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. You know they're gonna do it in a few years, though. <laughs> well, they, they would, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, they already did it a billion times with Ben Ten. <laughs> ben Ten, bend over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, though it's like different series with Ben Ten. Uh, ben Ten is so confusing to me. <laughs> I don't care for it. I, I, that is a show that I have no. I just do not care. Yeah, no, it's like the just... same people made Generator Rex, but Generator Rex is like so much better from from what I've seen of it. I'm looking at my figures to see if there's anything I don't want to be rebooted. <laughs> um, all this stuff can totally be rebooted. I'll be fine with it. Uh, don't make any more Kung Fu Pandas. I know they are, but yeah. don't. Stop it. <laughs> Got Shrek 17 coming out here next. <laughs> don't stop with Toy Story 4. Stop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was, hopeful, I was hopeful that they'd stop with John Lasseter's departure, but they're like, nope, let's keep you going. Oh, yeah, there's a... Uh, I was thinking, like, well, let's see, which live-action, like, reboot have they not been confirmed yet? And I'm like, man, if they did a live-action Great Mouse Detective, it would make no sense. <laughs> Why would you make that live-action? Lion King! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, live-action Lion King is... But, um, but, but I'm gonna see it. Yeah. Uh, Gumball, with the Game Awards coming soon, which game do you hope will be Game of the Year? I think we all know it'll, it will be Smash, though. I don't think Smash qualifies because it's gonna be coming it's out too late. late. Yeah. Yeah. I think it cuts off in November, maybe? Yeah, I, I think it comes cuts off, like, the first week of December or something. Oh, okay. Uh, it's really... Because, like, 
uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 didn't make it in the year before, because uh, it was, like, <sighs> in December. What games came out this year? Uh, let's see, so, uh, God of War and Spider-Man for PS4, um, those are two really good ones. Uh, Octopath Traveler, I would say, for RPG, because Octopath Traveler is really good. Let me slam through the list of games that came out this year, one sec. Monster Hunter World won't win. Oh yeah, that came out this year. Uh, what a fantastic game, but it probably won't win. Um... Monster Energy Supercross? What is that? <laughs> what is that? Some ATV game like that. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it is. Um, I, I now that you now that we mentioned it, I really don't feel like I played any games this year. Yeah, Nino Kuni Two does not deserve it. Unfortunately, I wanted to like that game more than I did. It sucks. Um. Oof. Delta Run. <laughs> I'm not even gonna sing the song. Let me not. Let me not sing the song. Um. Wow, I really didn't play games this year. I'm looking through this list, man. This is Dark Souls Remastered. That's what's gonna win. Maybe Monster Hunter might win this. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be Red Dead Redemption 2, though. I just know it. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. absolutely correct. That, that's yeah. what's going to win. Yeah. Because people are sucking that game's dick. <laughs> I mean, I haven't, I haven't played a, the first one. Yeah, it's Western. I am not super into it. I'm sure it's good, though. Uh, Nathaniel asks, is there any Disney movie you would like to have in a live-action movie? Not really. No. I really let me let me actually think before I just shut that down. I mean, there there isn't one in particular where it's like, oh yeah, it has to be made into live action. It's more like, okay, the Black Cauldron could work as a live action. Yeah, film. Sword in the Stone could work as one if they just completely redid the redid the story too. Just remake, yeah. The story's so boring. <laughs> um. I really can't think of one. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say no. That that was me genuinely thinking about it, not just me being an animation dick sucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gumball asks, what do you think about an N64 classic? Uh, I'd want one, yeah, if they announce it like uh, at some point. And I, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably going to be next summer when they, they actually release one. N64 is weird. I don't dislike it. I, I, I have a lot of memories of playing N64 and I like a lot of the games. For some reason, when I got older and I play N64 games, literally, like, to my stomach, they make me feel sick. I have no idea why. I, I don't get it, but I, I get sick playing them. I feel sick. I feel like I want to, like, vomit. I don't, I don't get it. Which sucks, because there's, there's a lot of games I want to replay, but I just can't. Alright. Um, I guess we'll end on this uh, this question from uh, Deli18. Uh, we had a cheer on um, on Twitch. Deli18, like, please just stick to the um, the YouTube chat when we're streaming on here. Uh, buddy, buddy, you took a screen cap of it. Uh, so, so tons of crazy stuff that happened over the last week and all, but what are your opinions on T-Series surpassing subscribers over PewDiePie? Had, did they actually surpass them? Like, has that happened now? What is T-Series? Am I that it, out of the loop of, like, it's, the world? It's, it's this dumb, like, Indian Vivo, like, channel. It's just, literally just, like, Indian music videos. That's all it is. Indians, uh, uh love their music. Yeah, six. The eight million. How about that? Yeah. Oh wait. Did, uh, did... Looks like looks like PewDiePie has more right now. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. PewDiePie at still still moment. has more. Uh, at no, the moment. That... Oh no, no, he doesn't. Oh, oh. yes, he does. Sorry. Yes, yes, he does. Okay. Yeah, because um, because like, <laughs> there was like this big big push to where like, okay, like get PewDiePie the to be the first one to hit sixty nine million, <laughs> other than T series. That's weird. 
Yeah, but right now PewDiePie is still ahead of them by about like uh, fifty thousand, or not fifty, uh, five hundred thousand at the moment. Yeah, five hundred thousand. Uh, but yeah. they're closing in, so it 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 might happen sometime in like the next few weeks. So yeah, it's it's crazy the the uh, the pace that T Series went though. It's like oh, this is just like a, a music channel that uploads like a like like five to ten videos a day of just music videos. <laughs> so weird, and they barely get any views like on each video, but they upload so much that they get like billions of views. Mm -hmm. It's so weird. There are two thousand three hundred and thirty-four people watching this PewDiePie versus T series live stream. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. They did not get that many views. One hundred and sixty-six thousand views isn't a lot, but like, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a lot, but not a lot for the, a channel that has that much subscribers. Right. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 weird. Um. Yeah. It'll be weird not having, like, a single person uh, at the top of YouTube rather than just, like, some corporate entity now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think I liked it more when it was just, like, a single person. It seems more YouTube-esque. Yeah. 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 No, it's more of a company. All right. Oh, well. It's just the way it is. I mean... As long as the numbers are legit, what can you do? I, I, I hope that they're legit. I hope it's, like, legitimate. Yeah, like, a lot of people, like, suspect, suspect that, like, oh, there's got to be, like, some bots, like, here somewhere. 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 What was that? Yeah. <laughs> you have a hard night, Paleo, with the tongue. Uh, He's developed a new accent out of nowhere. Somewhere. <laughs> so, uh, that might be a bunch of bots in that there brush. <laughs> we'll beat him out with, with my stick. Mm -hmm. But I'm the king of fucking up and talking, so don't you worry, Paleo. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure that every, everybody sees that embarrassing video of you at the Christmas party. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Be more specific. Be more specific. Christmas uh, party. No, this is gonna happen at the at the New Year's party. Uh, I'll do. I'll make make sure you do something embarrassing. You should uh, watch the Made in the Best up with us. Yeah, you should. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, yeah, I, I guess that'll be in, in the podcast. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. Let's see. When, when is the next one? Uh, the 19th. November 19th. We'll be the next one. Close to, close to Thanksgiving. Yeah, close to, to Thanksgiving. So, see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Peace.